Irish men and Irish women. In the name of God and of the dead generations from which she receives her old tradition of nationhood, Ireland through us summons her children to her flag and strikes for her freedom. Having organised and trained her manhood through her secret revolutionary organisation, the Irish Republican Brotherhood, and through her open military organisations, the Irish Volunteers and, and the, the Irish, Irish Citizen, Citizen Army, Army, having patiently perfected her discipline, having resolutely waited for the right moment to reveal itself, she now seizes that moment. And supported by her exiled children in America and, and by gallant, gallant allies, allies in, in Europe. Europe. But relying in the first on her own strength, she strikes in full confidence of victory. We declare the right of the people of Ireland to the ownership of Ireland and to the unfettered control of Irish destinies to be sovereign and indefeasible. The long usurpation of that right by foreign people and government has not extinguished the right. Nor can it ever be extinguished. Except by the destruction of the Irish people. In every generation, the Irish people have asserted their right to, to national, national freedom, freedom and sovereignty. Six times during the past 300 years, they have asserted it in arms. Standing on that fundamental right and again asserting it in arms in the face of the world, we hereby proclaim the Irish Republic as a sovereign, independent, independent state. state. And we pledge our lives and the lives of our comrades in arms to the cause of its freedom of its welfare and, and of, of its, its exaltation, exaltation among, among the nations. The Irish Republic is entitled to, and hereby claims, the allegiance of every, every Irish, Irish man and, and Irish, Irish woman. woman. The Republic guarantees religious and civil liberty, equal rights and equal opportunities for all its citizens, and declares its resolve to pursue the happiness and prosperity of the whole nation and of all its parts, cherishing all the children of the nation equally and oblivious of the differences carefully fostered by an alien government which have divided a minority from, from the, the majority, majority in, in the past. past. Until our arms have brought the opportune moment for the establishment of a permanent national government, representative of the whole people of Ireland and elected by the suffrages of all her men and women, the provisional government hereby constituted will administer the civil and military affairs of the Republic in trust for the people. We place the cause of the Irish Republic under the protection of the Most High God, whose, whose blessings, blessings we invoke, invoke upon our arms. arms, and we pray that no one who serves that cause will dishonour it by cowardice, inhumanity or rapine. In this supreme hour the Irish nation must, by its valour and discipline, and by the readiness of its children to sacrifice themselves for the common good, prove itself worthy of the august destiny to which it is called. Signed on behalf of the Provisional Government, Thomas J. Clark. Sean McDermott. Thomas, Thomas McDonough. P. H. H. Pierce. Pierce. Eamon Kent. James, James Connolly. Joseph Plunkett.